Okay, so here I am sitting at the, uh, what is this place called? Henry's? I'm wearing my Henry's, where there's no smorgasbord. Right? No smorgasbord. Pass. And, um, I'm wearing this cool hat that we got ripped off on from Scammer Time. But it's really nice. Keeps my head super warm. I've been wearing it all day. It's real nice. I look good in it. It's good. How's your uh, overall core temperature doing right now, Jay? <laughs> it's down about 10 degrees. Okay. Yeah. See, <clears throat> yeah. look at this. Brian, can you check this out for me? Yeah, no, I'm not touching it. Put your that. face on it. <laughs> <laughs> you blow on it for me? In your face. A little in lower. Your, in your face. <laughs> yeah. A little lower. A little lower. Lower, baby. Chris, today, I let him uh, pass and lead while we were up by Porcupine Mountain. And I thought for sure he was going to fucking kill himself. Because he <laughs> took off like a bat out of hell. Fucking, he got the Mach 1 up to record speed. Yeah, Mach 1 was at Mach speeds for sure. Chris Wards might be jealous because he broke his record. Believe it or not, I was actually struggling to catch up to Chris because I was adjusting my music volume. He had a pretty good lead. I was struggling to catch him. It took me a couple miles to actually catch Chris. I mean, at one point, he was out of sight. On an apex. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I was chasing him on an apex. So, but I did catch him, and uh, I passed him at, uh, I'd say, slowly passed by him. You know, signaled that I was passing and gradually passed by him. Is that was your recognition of how I passed you, Chris? Sure. <laughs> what was that radar at? About I think I think I passed you at 110 actually, while you were doing about 90. But we, we did, you know, check out Chris' sled run probably 90, 95. So it was a pretty good run for him. Hey, who sled blue belt today? Yeah. The nitro Who's, blue belt. That's just common maintenance, though. That's not common. So Common maintenance on a used belt, huh? We got a new belt. <laughs> new belt. Right. 1,200 miles. <laughs> new to me. 1,600 at blue belt. Okay. Oh, 16, okay. Yeah. That's next 400 what? miles. Where'd you get the belt that you have on there now? eBay. Was that one new? <laughs> no, it was used. It said that it had real low miles on it. I think I'm seeing a pattern here. Yeah. <laughs> but the belt that was on it was the original factory belt. So it lasted 1,600 miles, and I got my uh, eBay belt on there right now. It's running real good. And I'm probably going to buy another eBay belt when I'm done here. So what's the lesson for today then, Jay? lesson learned is shove up your fucking ass. What the lesson was just buy the damn new belt and let it work for you. <laughs> huh, funny, Chris. Funny. What's your comment on that, by the way? Have you thought about buying a faster snowmobile? Because clearly you're the slowest person here today. Hey. I See what else I can that. buy for a thousand bucks. What else can I get for a thousand bucks for a sled? I rest my case. And this about, I think, concludes this interview. <laughs> Chris is like, well, I didn't crash a faster sled, so. <laughs> hey, you want to go ride I mine? Don't own a faster sled. When you crash a sled to purchase it, you really can't be too discriminating. <laughs> you mind if I test ride this? I'm going to buy it. <laughs> Yeah, well... You tell me where your nearest tree is? <laughs> what? Or, or a ditch. You always have to negotiate price. And that, my friend, is a really good bargaining chip. <laughs> sure, you know, I'm sure you don't want to sell it? Bam! How about now? <laughs> It's done for sale. It is now. I'm pretty sure. Just take off a couple thousand, you'll be good. <laughs> I'm pretty you, you don't want to sell it, huh? Four grand? Oh, it ain't worth four grand now. <laughs> it's worth about nine hundred. How about I give you a grand? Call it even. Looks like there's some scratches on it. Where? Here. It don't matter, I'm gonna put a bigger motor in it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Two stroke for life. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one of them thousand cc motors in that bitch. <laughs> Come on, Chris. We need the uh, wide open TC God slogan. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> well, my philosophy was always <laughs> wide open, all balls out until you see God, and you break, then you slow the fuck down. <laughs> That's right.